Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Blinkoff for On The Water, and today I'm looking at a new line of lures from Live Target. This is called the ICT line of lures. Um, I just got back from the ICAST show down in Orlando. That's the biggest fishing tackle trade show in the world. It happens every summer down in Orlando, and basically every tackle company comes down there, fishing lure company. They show off all the new reels, rods, lures, and people from fishing magazines, people like me, come down there, get to check out all the new stuff. I go down there to take a look and see what makes sense for fishermen up in the Northeast, guys who chase stripers and albies, do freshwater fishing up in the Northeast, what are the lures we're most interested in. And so one of the demonstrations I went to up there was by Live Target and they were showing off this new line of lures. They gave me this bag with a bunch of lures inside to check out. So the idea behind these ICT lures, it stands for Injected Core Technology and basically they're soft plastic and hard plastic baits that have an inside core, and again, this is live target, so they always are about making hyper-realistic baits. So it has this injected core, the inside, very realistic. And then the outside of the bait, the part that gives it action, here it's a, you can see it's a paddle tail bait. That's totally clear. Um, so for one thing, it protects this realistic pattern, and then also the parts of it that provide action that when you look at a bait, I mean, if you look at a minnow, normally you don't see a big paddle tail in the back of it. You need that to provide action, but it's not really the most realistic profile. So that's the idea is here, you've got the core, which gives you a realistic profile, and then you have this outside for the action, but it's invisible, it's clear, fish don't really see it quite as much. So it really makes sense in a bait like this, where you want that paddle tail action, but you don't necessarily want to lose the realistic profile of a natural bait. The other thing that all these lures have, these soft ones, there's holes already in the bottom, small holes, three along the bottom, three along the top here on this hollow bodied minnow, and one in the nose. So it's really easy to rig them without messing up that inside injected core. Um, if you were to just take a hook and start putting it in and out anywhere through the core, you could start to wrinkle it up and screw it up. This allows you to keep it pristine and makes it really easy to rig these. Um, so I see this one in particular, it's called the Slow Roll Shiner. That's their paddle tail here. I can see this being really popular um, both in freshwater for largemouth bass and then also probably for stripers. You can see it's kind of a shiner pattern. It would do well in freshwater. Looks like a shiner or a smelt. Looks a lot like a lot of saltwater baits too, kind of like a silver side. So that's the slow roll shiner. Another one that I think is going to be popular in the northeast is this one. It's called the ghost tail minnow. And the idea behind this is it's kind of a finesse bait, like a drop shot bait. It comes in a pack like this. And so kind of a smaller version of that slow roll shiner, and then it has a straight tail. Um, so the thinking behind this is it would work really well on like a drop shot rig, small mouth bass, large mouth bass. And I think that's true, but I got excited for this because it looks so much like a silver side. Uh, silver sides, really important saltwater bait. Everything eats them, striped bass especially. Um, but I started thinking of albies. I think this could be a really good albie lure because they love silver sides and they also tend to like smaller lures. So what you get here is you get the weight of a larger soft plastic. So you could rig this on a weightless hook and still be able to cast it well, but you're not gonna scare the albies off with a big soft plastic lure. All they're really gonna see is this realistic profile of what to me looks exactly like a little silver side. Um, so I grabbed, for example, here's a offset weedless hook. Um, bait like this, again, it's got the hole in it already. You could run that through the nose, double it back, find that hole on the bottom, and then that comes out the top. And what you end up with is a weightless rigged soft plastic. To me, it looks just exactly like a silver side. It has a little bit of weight to it because it has the extra soft plastic on the back here, so it'll cast well. I think it'll have great action. I haven't seen it in the water yet, but I'm excited to give it a try. So first time I see Albies this fall, I'm definitely gonna give this lure a shot. Here's another one. This is the hard plastic line. So it's the same idea, the same ICT injected core technology, but here it's in a hard plastic form. This is called the Erratic Shiner, and it's basically a spoon. So this one I see, really, really well packaged. So this one I see, 
as a freshwater lure, great option. Um, I like fishing spoons a lot, but they tend to be really big and flashy. They work well for northern pike, um, largemouth bass when they're feeding aggressively. But here's a way by doing just the inside here has the minnow profile, and then the outside of the spoon that's giving it the action is clear. This is a way to make a spoon that has great action, but isn't quite so big and flashy. So for maybe fish that are a little more shy, aren't quite as aggressive, they're not gonna hit a big flashy spoon, I could see this doing really well. Um, lake trout, I think I wanna try. Smallmouth bass, um, I think could all do really well if you know a, a good walleye spot, a good walleye lake. Um, again, looks just like a small shiner, but has the action of a spoon. So I'll be giving that one a try in fresh water. And then last but not least, uh, we got one more hard bait here. This one's called the flutter sardine. And so this one's, I believe, made for salt water, particularly. And basically, it's a hard plastic, it's a jigging spoon. So it's got pretty good heft to it. Again, has that ICT inner core technology. So you get the profile, realistic profile of a bait. And then on the front here, it has these clear plastic wings that when you fish this like a jigging spoon and let it fall, those will help it flutter down and swim a little bit. It also has enough weight that you can definitely cast this and maybe retrieve it back toward you with like a lift and a drop, have it swim up and then flutter down a little bit. Um, what I really like about this bait is to me, it looks so much like a peanut bunker. Peanut bunker or baby menhaden, those are really important baits, uh, especially during the fall run. It's when they tend to show up along our coast. And that's a great match. And fish, even stripers, can get pretty picky uh, when, they're, when they're keyed in on peanut bunker. And so if you're fishing something like this that has that profile, has that match, and looks as realistic as this does, I think it'll do really well. I haven't seen it in the water yet, but I'm definitely going to try this one out soon. I think it should have a good action. I'm curious if on a straight retrieve it swims or if you kind of have to do a lift and drop. It's got a dress tail hook too. It's got feathers on the back there. Um, so all in all, this should be a good fall run lure in the salt, and I'm definitely excited to try this one out. All in all, it's an interesting line of lures, uh, something different that we haven't really seen before, this whole idea of a realistic profile inside of a clear plastic outside, like an exoskeleton. I think it's an interesting trend. Um, I'm excited to fish them, and I hope that Live Target comes out with more versions of this in the future. So if you're interested in learning more about new lures, tackle, rods, and reels that might be useful for anglers in the Northeast, definitely stay tuned to our channel, hit the subscribe button, and watch for new videos coming out soon.